video about how to do a regen on a 2013 to a 2016 Volvo. There are two basic types of regen, active and passive. Passive is an automatic regen. That means that no fuel is injected into the exhaust system to add heat needed to regen the system. When you are driving at highway speeds, the engine is making enough heat to burn off the excess soot. This happens automatically. An active regen can be done automatically or done by the driver manually. If the heat from the exhaust does not get hot enough to burn off the excess soot, it will ask for a manual regen. The engine will always try to do it automatically. If it cannot, a light will come on giving warning that a regen is due. At this point, the driver must change the duty cycle of the engine, find a safe place to pull over so you can do a manual regen, or if this is the start of your day, start the process of doing a manual regen. This will take approximately about 30 to 40 minutes. By not letting the system do a regen, your truck could go into D-rate. Once your truck is in D-rate, you will not be able to go no faster than five miles an hour in some cases. So how do we put our truck into regen? We go over here where the windshield wiper uh, arm is. We will scroll down to after treatment. We will click the arrow. And then you'll see the display for request park regen. We will touch the arrow again to start the process. Data transfer in progress, please wait. Park regen conditions not met, check e EATS status menu. We hit the escape to go back out and we're gonna check the EATS status where we're gonna scroll down and check for the soot level. If the soot level is too high in most cases and we're unable to do a park regen, this will have to be done by a shop. They will place the computer on it and force the truck to do a regen. And that'll be it. Thank you.